Okay guys, this is gonna be a really fun project. We're gonna do some streamlining. As you can see, this is what the newer Model 7s take. This is a great option. Uh, it's just a little bit heavy for my application. This is what I did on my last one, is it just strips a three quarter inch pine. I sanded them down so they're a nice airfoil shape. A few years ago, I had a good friend say, if you ever tried uh, window casing or window trim, never even thought about it, but I thought I would try it. This is actually the finished product. It's a perfect streamline. They're super lightweight and they seem to work well. So if you guys want to see how I took two pieces of window trim, glued them together, shaped them, uh, then keep watching the video. Enjoy. Welcome to my channel. Around here, you want something, you got to build it. Follow along. Okay guys, so check this out. Is this not just the perfect airfoil shape? And then we glue, glue two of them together. And that's what we'll end up with. Now, this stuff is the 11 16 thick. And I found that the 11 16 it has this nice airfoil shape. There's another one out there at the 7 16 and that one does not have that nice airfoil shape. What that one is is more straight. And I wish that one would have worked, but because it's straight, it doesn't really do much for me. So these together, they're inch and an eighth, inch and a quarter thick. So we gotta get that back knocked down, get a nice flat surface, we'll glue them all together. So for doing that, I just made this, and all that does, it's gonna hold them in there. When I run it through the planer, it'll knock some of this back off and see if we can get them both down to a half inch. And the reason we do that is because the wing struts are one inch thick. So we glue two half inch together and we'll have it. Okay, let's see if it works. Okay, so that worked great. Look at what I end up with. Almost a perfect airfoil shape. Now, I'll glue these together, tack them with a few pin nails, and then I'll actually come, after they're done, I'll come back and cut them off. The reason that I do that is, for one, I get them down to the perfect one inch running across here to fit the wing strut. But right now they're two and a quarter inches tall and having two and a quarter inches behind a one inch wing strut is just kind of dumb, it's added weight. I don't think I'd gain anything. So once, once they're glued together and cut off, I'll have a nice straight edge here. I got a router bit that's got a one inch diameter and it's for making flutes and boards. And we'll run that through this edge and then I'll make a perfect one inch cut to glue on to uh, the wing strut. At least that's what we're going for, that's what we hope. So they're now all glued together. This is what I used, just tight bond three. Thought for, for this application, this is more than good enough. If you wanted to do it a little better, you could actually use epoxy on this, but keep in mind epoxy is extremely heavy when you're coating an entire surface like that. So I've never seen tight bond come loose. We're gonna give it a shot. Anyway, they're glued together, they're tacked together with pin nails and laying up against this board. And what that's gonna do is just hold them nice and straight as they dry tonight. I'll come back tomorrow morning and we'll cut them to length and try to run them through a router and see if we can put a little radius on this inside.
So what I did here is just take a little material out of the middle to lighten them up a little bit. And my next step, I'll cut the radius in here and see if they fit on the pipe. Okay, so here's how I glue them. I just prop them up in this. I can get this nice and level. When you install the wood, you can sight down the trailing edge and make sure you're sitting nice and square. I'll put them both on the scale just to see what they're coming in at. So I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but 2.2 pounds per side. So that, they came out pretty light. Now if you look at the bottom, this is the finished product. I left two inches every foot, and that just gives me a really good glue surface. Otherwise they get glued solid on all these other edges as well. So I got one put together. All right guys, there they are. That was a really fun project. Um, is it practical? I don't know. I had hopes that some of you guys would see this and be like, hey, I could do that. That's a cheap alternative to streamlining your struts. It does require a lot of tools to make it nice, but I am very happy with how they turned out. Uh, they're lightweight, they're smooth, they look good. Now, the last thing I gotta do is get them sealed good. I gotta sand off this edge so they're nice and flush, and then I'll cover them all with fabric, and I'll paint them and put them on the plane. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, give me a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.